This is a tutorial for the GCSE French AQA photo card on the speaking exam at higher tier. The photo card is the second part of the exam after you've done the role play um, and before the general conversation. It's worth 25% of the overall mark for the speaking exam. Um, you get 12 minutes to prepare the photo card and the role play. Uh, just immediately before the exam and you can write down your answers to the first three questions on the paper take it into the exam with you and read them and the majority of those 12 minutes you really do want to be spending on the photo card because the photo card needs a lot more detail than the role play see my tutorial on the role play for how to do that quickly and simply um, I would always try and get the role play done in about four minutes to try and give yourself at least eight minutes for this photo card. You need to know that for top marks, and if you do certain things on the photo card, you have to get at least 13 out of 15 um, because of the way the mark scheme works. If you tick off certain boxes, so if you have an answer to all five questions, if three of your answers have at least three points made in each of them and you include an opinion and a justification or an opinion and a reason, you have to be in that top bracket. And that's what makes this one where you can really do well on or if you don't answer all the questions, you can do quite badly on. And the biggest problem people make is they run out of time in the preparation time. They spend too long on question number one, what's in the photo, and they don't adequately prepare the other two. Sometimes it goes wrong with the surprise questions and you get bad luck on the day. But those ones that you prepare, they should be three, at least three points each. And sometimes I'd go for, I'd go for four or five points if I can think of things. Because then if something goes wrong, you've got a backup. Um, so let's see how we can get full marks on this um, with as, less, as least pain as possible. Remember, it's detail that they want. It doesn't have to be complex language, fancy language. Save that for the general conversation. Because there aren't really any bonus marks for range of language and um, complexity. So it doesn't pay to put all your energy into being really complicated here. It wants to communicate. So I'm um, just going to make that a bit bigger. What is in the photo? Keep it simple. Il y a, il y a, quatre, il y a quatre personnes. There are four people. Where are they? Ils sont dans un bureau. They're in an office. OK. Um, what are they doing? They're working. The big mistake here when you think about actions and what people are doing is you want to translate that ah. So I see a lot of ils sont and then some form of travailler. But it's present tense. They're working right now in the photo. So it's your e, e, s, e, o, n, s, e, z, e, n, t. Ils travaillent. But remember that e, n, t is silent. So you might even put it in brackets and remind yourself that. Oh, I've missed my Ilya off. Ilya cat person. You might even put it in brackets. You might put dots under it or whatever. But don't pronounce that ENT. Il travail. They're working. Um, what, what are they working on? They're, they're, they're working on computers. Let's, let's add that as another sentence. Il y a, il y a des ordinateurs. Il y a des ordinateurs. I'm not writing complex stuff here, um, but already I've said four things. She looks really happy. Often, if we can get an opinion in this uh, in 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 this one, it's it's a good idea. Je pense qu'elle est contente. Maybe you can say why. Why is she happy, or why do you think that she's smiling? If you know that, that would be really good. Pascal. Oops. Elle sourit. Now, maybe that's a bit, uh, maybe you don't know she's smiling, but things like that, smiling, laughing, things to do with people's 
emotions. They're worth learning for preparation for this um, this photo card because very often you can see people's faces. Clothes are a good one to talk about. Can't talk about colours, but you could talk about length of hair if you had to. She's got long hair. What else is there? Um, the man there seems to be drinking. You could say he has a cup. There are plants there. There's not loads of things to go on, but there are things if you look. And if you're not totally sure, put je pense que in front of it. You know, je pense que c'est une tasse. I think that it's a cup. Or je pense que c'est un café. I think that it's a coffee. Um, if you put je pense que in, it's not wrong. Question two. Tu voudrais travailler à l'avenir ou à l'extérieur? Hopefully you can see their cognates. Interior, exterior. You would like to voudrais. Recognize that. Would you like to work inside or outside? Why? Um, here's your opportunity for uh, an opinion and a reason. Je voudrais travailler à l'intérieur. I would like to work inside. Truth be told, because it's freezing outside. So, je voudrais travailler à l'intérieur. Well, I know uh, it's uh, it's cold, so I could say parce qu'il fait froid. Il fait froid, and we've got outside because it's in the question. So let's use it, and then we're not going to get it wrong. Parce qu'il fait froid à l'extérieur. Remember, the weather's a good one, Mr. Froid. The weather's a good one to uh, to talk about, but remember, it's not set with the weather. Um. Now, I said opinion and justification. I would like to work inside. That's not an opinion, that's a fact. But if we make it an opinion, je pense que je voudrais travailler à l'intérieur. I think that I would like to work inside because it's cold outside. Now, that's a fact, uh, an opinion with a reason. So I've ticked the opinion justification box. A good technique if you're struggling for things to think uh, for things to talk about is somebody else's opinion. Maybe you've got a friend who thinks the opposite or a, uh, a sibling. So, ma soeur, so I'm getting right here, par contre, on the other hand, I don't need the par contre, but I might as well. Par contre, ma soeur voudrait, now it's with a T, but we're not going to hear that, so... Uh, not too important if you don't know that here. Par contre, ma soeur voudrait travailler à l'extérieur. And then we've got our third sentence. Always try and get three. Yeah. Um, why? Let's go for four. Parce qu'elle voudrait uh, travailler avec... Uh, avec, avec des animaux, because she'd like to work with animals. Okay, elle voudrait travailler avec des animaux. Right, and then I've got four sentences. So just in case one of those didn't work. Number three then, quels sont les avantages? They often ask you about advantages and disadvantages, inconvenients, disadvantages. So that's worth knowing. Quels sont les avantages de travailler en équipe? Now, hopefully, uh, you know a keep team. So, what are the advantages of working in a team? Um, that's a bit of a tricky one. What could we say? What are the advantages of working in a team? Well, if you like people, I guess that's, um, that's um, an advantage. You can help each other. Maybe you know AD to help. Um, so, what could we say? Um, un avantage, un avantage, c'est, uh, is that, c'est que, um, you can, on peut aider, uh, on peut aider les autres, you can help other people, on peut aider les autres, um, on a keep. We've got in a team, so let's use it. Un avantage, c'est qu'on peut, I need to blend those together, uh, so it's always worth rereading the sentence. 
Un avantage, c'est qu'on peut aider les autres en équipe. Um, what else? Um, so, the, the, if you're on your own, if you're on your own, it's more difficult. So, c'est plus difficile. Uh, c'est plus difficile si on travaille. If you work alone, si on travaille seul. Now, if you didn't know alone, you could make it negative and say, if you don't work in a team. So, that's possible as well. So, si on ne travaille pas en équipe. It's always worth thinking about how you can say things if you're missing words with the words that are in the uh, example. Um, so, um, um Therefore, what's the what's the conclusion? Um, alors, so, je préfère. Give your opinion of which one you prefer. Je préfère travailler en équipe. Yeah, and then you've given another opinion. And you've also given your reason because you've given your reason beforehand. Yeah, that it's, it's, it's more difficult if you don't work in a team. Um, then you've got three points. One advantage is that you can help other people in a team. It's more difficult if you don't work in a team. So I prefer working in a team. Three points. We've got our three points for each of the three questions. And actually, we've got four here. We've got four here. One, two, three. We could we could get rid of some of these. Um, and 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 this would still be um, on par for um on par for full marks those are extras you don't really need those but it's always good to have the extras if you can think now in your 12 minutes you won't be able to prepare the extra questions but you know they're going to be on jobs at higher tier you're going to have a past or a future question in the main two questions. The first one's always what's in the photo, and then you're going to have a future or a past tense. Foundation tier will have that as well. The difference with higher tier is one of these surprise questions will be in the other tense that you haven't been asked for, the other time phrase, time frame. So we've been asked about the future. What would you like to, you know, where would you like to work, inside or outside in the future? So we know one of these is going to be Past. So when they come up, be ready for the past question. And there's the past question. It's the first one. So in this example, quel emploi est-ce que tu voulais faire quand tu étais plus jeune? Listen out for that quand tu étais plus jeune. When you were younger, what job, emploi, did you want to do? Tu voulais faire. Now if you work that out, but you can't remember, I wanted. Then you can ask the examiner to repeat the question and you'll get another chance to hear that voulez. So you really need je voulais, je voulais être, what does everybody want to be? Médecin. I wanted to be a doctor. That's it. These ones can be really straightforward. That's past tense. Je voulais être médecin. You could put in quand j'étais plus jeune if you wanted. But you don't need to. Just to be clear, we will do though. Quand j'étais plus jeune. And then if the tense went wrong a little bit, you might get some credit. Quand j'étais plus jeune. It's always better to be clearer if you can when I was younger. Selon toi, in your opinion, est-ce qu'un bon salaire est important? Is a good salary important? We oui. Repeat it. Repeat the question back. Un bon salaire est important. Pourquoi? Why? Because je voudrais une grande maison. Because I would like a big house, so I need to pay for it. Keep it simple. It doesn't need to be complicated. Surprise questions can be really, really short. A sentence is enough if you've got enough in the other three. We've got opinions. We've got reasons. That's full marks, even without the bits I've crossed out. I hope that helps.